Hi Capricorn, this is Jackie Tomlin. Um, today we're doing things a little bit different as I'm combining videos. I'm going to start by giving you a tarot card reading for January of 2018, but stick around because to follow that, we're going to touch base on some psychic insights of what you need to know coming up for 2018. Now, if you're seeking a psychic reading, please contact me at JackieTomlin.com where you'll find a link to those readings below this video. Also, when we get into the 2018, it is a broad general uh, for everyone. So if you want something more personalized, I do recommend the one-year forecast is available on my website. It's a full email report that is detailed and more geared towards you. So let's start by taking a look at January of 2018. Capricorn, we start with the Knight of Pentacles, followed by the Six of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. I'll break this down for you and I'm going to pull three more. What we're looking at here, Knight of Pentacles, showing that you're slowly uh, sustaining financially, maybe rebuilding something that you've lost there. Six of Cups, strong indication. Uh, this is someone re-entering from your past. And there we have that Two of Cups with a, with a happy union. Now, I want to note that this is two separate people, someone from the past and then a happy union with someone else. But there's definitely a lot of people surrounding you in the month of January. Moving forward, you guys have the Eight of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Cups, this is that card of manifestation, of planning your year, making things happen. Two of Wands shows just that. You're kind of at a standstill. You're waiting for the universe to turn. You're waiting to see what's in store for you. And the Ace of Pentacles, new beginning in the financial sector. Moving forward, we have the Ten of Wands. We have the Five of Cups. And we have the Four of Pentacles. Ten of Wands shows you guys are in a good spot. You're really completing a negative cycle you're overcoming obstacles you're really pushing forward but the five of cups indicates that you need to get out of your own head capricorn you're kind of guilty of this quite often of overthinking things and the four pinnacles although you're under a new financial beginning want you guys to take the time um to spend wisely during this time and no major arcanas for the month of january so it looks like the year's got a good mild start for you guys Okay, let's take a look at your year for 2018. Just want to touch base, like I said, just general, um, some highlights of your year, what you can anticipate, things of that nature. Um, really, it's a year about new beginnings, and it's not just one new beginning. It's almost like you guys have a new beginning in each quarter in some area or another. And the first quarter, it does look like it's going to be on the emotional side of things. Second quarter, coming in in the financial sector. Third, in love and romance. And fourth quarter, also in love and romance. So, yeah, it is definitely a year about new beginnings. Finances for 2018. I don't want to indicate that they're bad, but they're not as strong as what you want to see them. Um, you're still doing well. You're still holding on. Just not a significantly strong financial year for Capricorn. Uh, in the home life, everything is good. I mean, there's victory there. There's good communication. There's spending good quality time. There's, you know, balance is there. But there's also a little something missing, okay? Um, in areas of love. A lot of relationships for Capricorn in 2018. A lot. So, for my single Capricorns, this is going to be significant. And the time frame, I would like to say, is really going to begin from spring on out through the year. That first quarter not coming in real strong in the love life. Now, for those of you <clears throat> that are in couple situations and in relationships, um, there's a little restless energy in 2018 that kind of hits on and off. It's that restless need for freedom, uh, need to get away, things of that nature, but nothing of a negative factor. Health looks good and positive. Um, very strong in the health field 
for 2018. Um, Y'all need to make some wise decisions in regarding to purchases. Um, and this is not just a purchase. This is a large purchase. This is whether it's appliances, vehicles, the signing of a lease, things like that. You really, really need to slow down and think things through before you commit to any large purchase in 2018. And that's going to apply from like January on through to December. In your career saw this in another sign and it's kind of cliche that one door closes and another door opens there is change for Capricorn in your career <coughs> it is leading you to something better it's actually an opportunity that appears to come to you but I'll be real honest with you when I say it also appears that it doesn't occur till fall of winter of 2018 meanwhile in the career there's also a warning against foolish decisions so be mindful you know as you Continue on the job or the career or the line of work that you're in now. Be mindful of foolish decisions. Overall, um, looking for a lot of spirituality to come and play with Capricorn this year. Um, for some of you, it's a renewal in the spirituality. For some of you, you might be something new coming in in that area. It is a good year all over. It, it is you aiming for perfection it's you taking authority. It's kind of like you taking charge of your life. 2017 looks like there was a lot, a lot of expectations and a lot of waiting where this is the year that you're really taking action and you're taking charge to make sure that what you want actually takes place. And to be quite honest with you, it looks like you're going to be very successful in doing so. Um, so overall, not a bad year in review. And like I said, if you want a more detailed report of what your year looked like, look up the one year forecast available for purchase on my website. Thank you guys for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.